Tremendously confident as ever in the run-up to this and for a man who's approaching 40, only George Foreman at 46 when he defended against Axel Schultz a decade and a half ago has been older as a defending champion than Klitschko, but just to look at him, he's in tremendous shape. And he's claiming the centre of the ring straight away here. And you know, those two losses against Chris Bird when he had a shoulder injury and then against Lennox Lewis when he lost on cuts on both occasions, he was ahead on the judges' scorecard. Solis tried to get in with that chopping right hand. It was only just off target. Yeah, he's looking quick, Solis. He's doing the right thing. He's just trying to, to measure the range, then move in with punches back out again. Possibility that Hay, of course, at some stage could be facing the winner of this and Klitschko had to take a decent right hand from Solis in that exchange there's oh. never been a Cuban heavyweight champion of the world Jorge Luis Gonzalez got annihilated by Riddick Bowe back in 1995 when Carlos Gomez was defeated by Klitschko in the first defense after regaining the title Solis has made this an interesting opening three minutes though yeah, but, uh, and it's kind of prodding punches that uh, Klitschko is throwing and uh, with the speed of Solis, once he finds a little bit of confidence, that right hand, he's just caught him. Oh, he's down, so, right hand which did it, and Solis down in the opening round, closing seconds of the opening round. It was a short right hand, and he's in a lot of trouble. He might not be able to continue here. He's all over the place. Referee having a close look at him, and the fight's all over. It's all over in the first round. That was a beautiful, jolting little right hand got bang on the chin. Klitschko shouting at him here in a bad temper faster. I thought it was going over to see, make sure he was OK. But he has an angry look on his face. I don't know what's happening here. I don't know that the, there's anger between the camps. I've never seen that from the Klitschko before. They're renowned for their sportsmanship. But what a performance. The first chance he got, a short little right hand, and it was all over. Tremendous punch. Well, I think Klitschko thinks that he quit. He thinks he could have gone on, and he's angry. It's shades of the old... Cassius Clay and Sonny Liston from 1965, the second fight, and he thought he could have gone off. Well, OK, John, well, let's look at Solis's legs when he got himself back up again. If he could have carried on, if that was an act, then it's an Oscar he should be having, not the WBC belt, because his legs were all over the place. They would not support him. I don't believe he's taken a dive. There's nothing in the man's history to suggest he would. Obviously, uh, Vitaly Klitschko is disappointed. We have 19 fans here, I've got a show, but look at this. That is, that is definitely not an act. It was a beautiful, jolting little punch. As soon as the punch landed, I spotted it. I knew it was a hurtful punch. I didn't know it was a finisher. Well, trouble with the right knee. Let's watch it again from another angle. Solis, you can see, trying to force the pace in the last few seconds before the bell to end that first round, and down he went, and he hurt his leg in the process. That punch, it, it caught him a little bit higher than I thought they were watching it live. It caught him in the, the, the temple and it just seemed to rob him of all his senses. That was not an act. The man could not continue. There is no way with the pedigree he has, the preparation, getting himself into the best shape he's been in his pro career, that he would do that. OK, Klitschko is disappointed. 19,000 people are probably disappointed, but you can't take away from Klitschko. Come on to his title in dramatic fashion. Well, the crowd don't like it. There's a lot of hoots of derision, boos reverberating around this huge state-of-the-art arena on the banks of the Rhine here in Cologne. Adlania Solis' dream, and he'd certainly talked the fights in the run-up to this, is well and truly over, and he cuts a disconsolate figure in that corner. It was performing well up to that point, but you see, bang, it caught him high, and as soon as it, look at the legs, as soon as the punch landed, the left leg straightened out, it just took everything away from him. Look up here, he cannot get off his back. He's lost the power of his legs. You know, it's jolted his brain, 
and taken all the motor skills away from him. Look at that left leg. There is no acting here. He has gone here. When he goes on to his back, you see him trying to lift up onto a sitting position. He can't do it. There is no way whatsoever that was an act. We're all disappointed. But we know one more disappointed the first thing in the morning than uh, Solis, that's for sure. We, we expected better, but there you are, another dominant performance from well, Vitaly Klitschko. Well, boos all around this arena, and Klitschko, you could see when he went down, was an angry man. He'd prepared long and hard at his training camp in Austria, and he wanted a real fight. Charlie Giles acting as WBC inspector tonight main man of the British Boxing Board of Control and there's Vitaly Klitschko still champion at the age of 39 celebrates his 40th birthday in July and he's treading very very gingerly indeed on that right leg and I wonder where now for Odlania Solis the first professional defeat and the crowd seeing the image you're seeing on the huge video screens above the ring and almost to a man and woman they are jeering yeah, and you can't really blame them, John. It's a huge disappointment. We thought the possibility tonight he was going to have his toughest defence or his toughest fight since the Lennox Lewis fight. This guy came with a pedigree. OK, he hadn't proven himself at, uh, in the professional game. He didn't shine in his last fight, which was an eliminator uh, for, for the title fight tonight. But we really expected so much from him. We expected him to bring the best out of Vitaly. Didn't happen. Well, Vitaly Klitschko first won the WBO title, beating her behind in a couple of rounds back in 1999. And here, 12 years later, he is still WBC heavyweight champion. Nervous system had been shut down by the punch. It didn't look a tremendous Ladies punch, but it caught him on the tempo, the and it was over. Officially at three minutes of round number one. Referee Garcia rules the challenger unable to continue following the knockdown. The winner by KO victory and still WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Dr. Eisenhaus, Vitaly Klitschko. <laughs>